朝为田舍郎，暮登天子堂。This poetry was created in Song Dynasty. Each side, a person who worked as a farmer, later could become a government officer. You may be curious how is it possible. The answer is 科举考试 the imperial examination. Started from Tang Dynasty, the imperial examination was the bridge helping normal people to come to the upper class. Now we believe the imperial examination first appeared in Sui Dynasty, but during this time, normal people didn't have chance to take the imperial examination. Started from Tang Dynasty, because of political considerations, the imperial examination opened to all citizens. So, people who was born in the normal family had chance to work in the court, and ancient China gradually got rid of being controlled fully by noble peoples. During Wu Zetian's time, the final round of the imperial examination, first time was held by the emperor. Meanwhile, Wu Zetian created the Wu Keju, the military imperial examination, to select military government officers. But those two rules wasn't followed by all Tang emperors. In Tang Dynasty, to get greater rank, examinees usually wrote some articles before the examination and sent them to powerful peoples. Once the powerful people was pleased by the article, this powerful people could recommend this examinee to the examiners. For example. According to the book Tang Cai Zi Zhuan, the famous poet Wang Wei was recognized by the Prince Qi and the Princess Yu Zhen because of his talents in literature and music. Later, Wang Wei became Zhuang Yuan, the first place in the imperial examination. The Prince Qi and the Princess Yu Zhen did give Wang Wei many helps in his examinations. The good part of Tang Imperial Examination was the examiner could consider both a person's daily reputations and this person's one-time examination results. But the bad part was. Noble families and the powerful peoples may man manipulate the exam results. In Song Dynasty, the imperial examination system was well set and was used by future emperors. First, the final rank of the examination was decided by the emperor. All examinees. Who took the final round of exam were considered as the students of the emperor. Second, the examination was more fair for all examinees. The noble families and the powerful government officers almost had no chance to influence the results of the imperial examination. For example. If examiner's relative took the same examination, this examiner must disclose this information to the court. Then the emperor decided why this examiner still was qualified. The exam designers was were isolated from; they were selected to the examination and it. Yuan Dynasty was founded in 1271 by Mongolia people. 
the Yuan Emperor decided to cancel the imperial examination. Until 42 years later, the Emperor Renzhong of Yuan restored the imperial examination. Two years later, Yuan Dynasty's first imperial examination was held. Then this exam was held every three years until 1366. Two years later, Yuan Dynasty ended. In Ming Dynasty, the founding emperor Zhu Yuanzhang didn't get many formal education, but he knew how important the education was. So when Zhu Yuanzhang became the emperor, he restored the imperial examination and set the rules that the people was not allowed to become the government officer without passing the imperial examination. But later, Zhu Yuanzhang found the government officers selected through the examination didn't work well in managing the court. So, imperial examination temporarily stopped for about 10 years. In 1382, Zhu Yuanzhang restored the imperial examination and cited a series detailed imperial examination regulations, which were used in the whole Ming Dynasty. The famous Ba Gu Wen, Eight Legs Icy, appeared in Ming Dynasty because this kind of article had a restrictive structure and content which highly limited people's creation and caused science and economic backwardness. In Qing Dynasty, the imperial examination system almost followed Ming rules. Theoretically, all Manchuria people, Mongolia people, and Han Chinese could take imperial examination, but Qing empress didn't encourage Manchuria people and Mongolia people to take this exam. Meanwhile, the top three ranks usually only was given to Han Chinese. In Ho Qing Dynasty, there only one Mongolia Zhuangyuan. Zhuangyuan was the top one in the imperial examination. This Mongolia Zhuangyuan was selected by the Emperor Daughter Cixi, and his daughter was Tongzhi's Empress. In 1905, Cixi published the order to cancel the imperial examination. From this year, this existing thousand years exam disappeared in history. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon.